Oh, what it do? It's your boy Murrah back again with another reaction. Before we hop into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my Spotify playlist, SoundCloud, all my social media in the description box. Let's hop into it. Today we got my girl JoJo with What You Need, official music video. This is the first single off her deluxe version album, Good To Know. Um, Good To Know came out earlier this year. Fire R&B album, probably the best one of the best R&B albums of the year. Now she's dropping the deluxe version and this is what you need. The first taste of new music from her. So yeah, let's hop into it. And it's a visual. I seen that she's doing choreo. Y'all know that I love choreo. So I'm excited. Let's check it out. Come on, Corio. Yes. Joanna better hit her staff, okay? Wind it. Me. Yes. All right. I'm pleasantly surprised. This is probably the most fun and comfortable I've seen JoJo. Like, she, you know, she's been doing this forever at this point, so she's very comfortable. But, you know, on camera, you can see her having a lot of fun. Her facial expressions are very just like, bitch, you know, like, girl, you know, like, y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's very just like she knows what she's talking about, who she is, what it's going to be, and that's that. So I'm really loving that. And then she's doing choreo. JoJo's not a, a dancer. Like, she's never... I think the one video that she danced in was Not That Kind of Girl. And that's when she was, like, 13, 14. And then, um, and then more recently, she did, like, a minimal choreo in Think About You video. But more so, the background dancers were dancing. So this is the first time she's giving, like, choreo from start to finish. So I live for that. I wonder if, you know, hanging out with Tanache like, rubbed off on her. But, and she's hitting it, too. Like, she ain't stiff. And, you know, yeah, you know, she ain't stiff. So that's a plus. Um, I'm liking it so far. The song, the song is cool. The song is fun. It's, you know, definitely one of more of her urban songs. So I live for that. Got a knocking beat. You know, she talking her shit, so let's keep going. Come on, Joanna. They got their little quarantine mask on. Yeah, ah! She's just having fun. Yes, bounce that ass. I love this on JoJo. Like, you can tell she is just happy. Yes. And she's still giving us the vocal. Like, why is she, she is hitting it? Okay, I'm sorry. JoJo is hitting it, like... I know she probably, you know, I'm pretty sure she's proud of who she is and her heritage and her ethnicity and stuff like that. Even though everybody always calls her like very urban or like a black girl and a white girl body or whatever. But she is very comfortable, like hitting her step, real fluid. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, come through rapping. Yes. And the fact that she is just giving, like, this is just like a simple urban little bop, like, not very much vocal in the song, you know, very kind of sing rappy, but she still gives us those crazy runs. Like, Joanna is it. And the fact that you, it just very much, I'm getting like a lot of Aaliyah from her dancing. It's very smooth and just fluid, you know, it's really relaxed, it's real natural. I don't know why she doesn't dance all the time. Like, I'm telling you, that would just elevate all of her projects and visuals to the next level. I think she should definitely dance in everything. Come on. I like this pink hair too. Okay, why, why? It. Yeah, so that was JoJo What You Need official music video. I loved it. It was fun. She was hitting her vocal still. She's hitting her step. Very just, she's just so soulful. Like sometimes, you know, I know she hates this because it's just like she knows that she's just a white girl. But I mean, it's hard for me to look at her as just a white girl. It's almost like she's light skinned black girl. Like she is just so soulful. She is not stiff in her dancing. Like, she can actually hit a step, shake her little ass, you know, hitting choreo fluidly, like, very Aaliyah-esque. I mean, you know, we already know that, you know, she has one of the most soulful voices in general. So, I'm just really glad that she's able to release music. She's able to show her, you know, true talent, her true potential, She's able, she's, this time around, she really just catered to, I think, what everybody was kind of asking for. Because I know a lot of her fans, including me, were, like, begging for her just to do R&B. Because the pop stuff, the pop stuff is cool, but it's like, Joanna, like, you are an R&B singer. Like, your voice, your moves, your look, your style, your demeanor, everything is just, like, R&B, hip-hop, urban like down with the nigga like you know so i live for it that was hot um i can't wait to hear the rest of the deluxe version she did a remix of lonely hearts with um demi lovato she um has a song with tinashe and she has like a bunch of other tracks and stuff like that so and I'm just excited. I'm happy that she's finally free and able to, you know, do her thing. So if you like that, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my Spotify playlist. SoundCloud, all my social media in the description box. And I'll see you in the next one.